Well, the day is over and Colton has cleaned the Model X and look at that thing. Wow, it's spectacular, amazing. Colton, thank you so much. That looks, that looks unbelievable. Yeah, a little bit cleaner. Oh, a little bit cleaner, yes, I would say. This is that's this, a puddle. This looks a little muddy. You know what? This is not right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Colton. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, stay on it, Dave. Stay in there. Bro. Listen to that noise. Is that all the mud that you caked into our tires? I think so. Colton. I'm sorry, Colton. We better we better go back to Colorado and have this thing detailed again. You should get on this. You should get on the saddle here. But if it wasn't 30 degrees, I would, but that will make me cold. No, 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 no. Get on the saddle. It's going to be cold. Yeah, no, you got to do it. I, I need oh a picture. That is so cold. It's, it's not, not cold. It's not happening. Nebraska. Nebraska. One, two, three. Woo! Nebraska. Nebraska. There we are. And we're going to hit Route 80, which we take all the way to New Jersey. All the way. I know. Um, I it's very boring drive. Very boring. But not with me. With me, it's exciting. Listen, we were just doing some. What was that? We you should be dancing, yeah. Dancing, yeah. That yeah. was bad. <laughs> All right, let me know if I hit anything on the way out here, guys. Uh, Full throttle. <laughs> Look oh, at the twizzy. the twizzy. The twizzy looks so huge Honestly. in this camera. You should see it. It's like a big blob. A big red blob. All right. There we go. All right. All right. Guys, Colton, you're the man. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Colton. Thank you, guys. You got it back up. I am. Don't hit that white Tesla. I think the twizzy needs air in the tires. Yeah, it might. All right, bye, guys. See you later, guys. Okay, okay right, have Kyle, a safe any, trip. Uh, any last words of advice? Uh, drop the suspension down if you're going to not make it. You know, set your settings where you like it. And uh, if you go to advanced suspension settings, if you put it to full comfort, it'll even get a little bit softer, but you'll sacrifice some, you know, sort of okay. stability. We're good. We're off. Love you. See you. Bye. Okay, love you. Bye. See you, guys. Thank you. Bye, Kyle. Okay. All right, we're oh, off. Yeah, Colton's right. I ruined the window. I made it all wet. Oh, yeah, mine too. <laughs> oh, darn. That's all right. Well, he did such a nice job cleaning it. Wow. It good, good day, honey. Wow. Right? Good day, and we are back in Plattington. Oh, boy. I forgot how nice it was. I know. So it's nice. it's really, it's really, I feel like I'm home. Okay, so you're going to set destinations so we can yes. see what we have to do? Yes, I am. Okay. So let's navigate to Connecticut. Where are we going? <laughs> Connecticut. Oh man. What the heck is wrong with me? Uh, let's just put in Norwalk, Connecticut. Norwalk, Connecticut. There it is. It says 1,639 miles, That's but it's actually 1,805. Okay. Ogallala, Nebraska is going to be our first stop. Well, that's good. I've never been to Nebraska. Uh, you ne you haven't? No. Okay. And Kyle took us to Wyoming today, so I'm going to bang out two states I've never been to. All right. There you go. Yeah, that was fun going up to it was fun. Wyoming. Uh, boy, this is beautiful country out here. Honestly, it is gorgeous. Yeah. Those mountains and the snow on the mountains today was sensational. Really good. All right. Well, listen, we are off. And our next stop will be Ogallala. We've got... What's our state of charge? We're at 100% state of charge. Just the way I like it. Which, uh, let me just see what that says in terms of display. What time is it here? Oh, wait. You know what we need to do? We need to reset okay. our trips. Uh, let's see. Rustic Ring. Reese. No. Uh, he was there yesterday. Yeah. I don't think he needs that data. We're gonna do. We're gonna do. C. O. To. C. T. Okay. And.
and that's going to be the save since last charge is going to be fine. So we've got that lifetime, 7,641 miles on this vehicle. We are showing 100% state of charge, which actually says distance-wise is 335 miles of range. That That's interesting to me. Is that more than we thought? Well, I mean, technically, this is a plaid, and I don't think it it's never shown 335 before. Maybe Kyle improved it. Well, let's not <laughs> take it to the very end. All right. Well, off we go. And and we hit our first red. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get that. Oh boy. Oh well. So we are about to cross over into Nebraska from Colorado. Let's just go over the trip real fast. You doing all right, Kathy? Yeah, and I've never been to Nebraska. You've never been to Nebraska. So today yeah, you've been to Wyoming, Wyoming yes, and Nebraska Wyoming. in the same day. All right, well. I'm getting around today. You are. All right, so the trips, we have gone 168 miles. We burned 65 kilowatts. What time is it? Uh, it is 10.02 p.m. We left at, I think it was right around 7.30. And we are 23, 25 miles outside of, we got a little bit of smoky action going on up here. So we back off. interior lights on? Nah, that's all right. I don't know. Um, we've got... We've only got 25 more miles to go. We're going to arrive at Ogallala. Say that. Ogallala. 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 I think we need to invent the dance. The Ogallala dance. Oh, oh, you should be dancing. Ogallala. You're already tired. We have to get a hotel. No, we're just going straight. You're already very tired. We're going to get a good night's sleep. I just had a brownie. That got me going again. Plus, I've already killed this giant Red Bull. Look at the size of this thing. It looks like, you know, something you'd make pizza with, like a rolling pin. Um, Omaha. All right, so I don't know why it's doing that because I think it saw the red lights. But, um, yeah, we're, we're actually 24 miles away from Ogallala. Next stop, we will be supercharging. I don't know if we're going to supercharge tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm not really I sure. We can do it tonight. We can look for her, a hotel while, while we're, we're right. We that's true. We could do that. Just make the most of our time. That's a, that's a fair point. Um, all right. So there we go. He pulled over a van. Yeah, he pulled over a van. It's all right. As long as it wasn't us. Agreed. Um. <laughs> I don't like these auto high beams. I got to turn this off. The car has been performing flawlessly. So smooth. Unbelievable. Very happy. Really good. All right. Next stop, Ogallala. Say it. Ogallala Land. Ogallala Land. I said that five minutes ago. That's like, you did? Yeah, like La La Land. I didn't even hear that. Ogallala Land. That was actually a good movie. Great. Yeah, I like that. Who was in that movie? Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Ken from Barbie. <laughs> yes, right. I didn't see that. And one. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Oh, um, and, and that, what was that movie we just I saw? Know, it oh, it was horrible. Where she played like this. I don't I'm know. No, like this yeah. monster. Anyway, I didn't particularly like that movie, but I did like La La Land. La La Land. Just don't tell anybody I liked it. It's so you, Dave. It is not.
All right, so we've arrived in Ogallala, Nebraska, and at this uh, at this hotel here, the Americana Inn, which is only 89 bucks a, month, a night, um, they've got Tesla supercharged this year. Now, they're V2s, but that's okay. I'm just gonna plug in, charge up to 100%. We're gonna go check in and stay here. I'm a little tired, it's been a long day, and so I think we are, uh, we're just gonna stay here tonight. This will be great. We plug, We pulled in at an 18% state of charge, um, pulling 149 kilowatts right off the bat. We did precondition to get here because I actually, uh, I was I was preconditioning to get to the Tesla supercharger and then I checked hotels um, to see which hotels had had uh, electric vehicle charging and the America, American Inn said it did. So I figured level two, I'll put it on the hook. Well, guess what? They've got Tesla V2s back here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab our luggage, go in, and then uh, I'll just uh, hang out for a little while. And once we hit that 100%, um, then we will, I'll move, the, I'll move the X off to the side, but look at this thing, it's been great. Truck's doing great. Truck, <laughs> the Model X has been doing great. Kathy, you doing all right? Yep, she's giving me thumbs up. So let's go in and check in. minutes to go from uh, <laughs> my Model X quacks like a duck. Hour and 13 minutes to go from 18% to 100%. I let it top charge and yeah, so uh, hey listen, in the morning when we wake up we will we'll be able to take right off and hit the road really well. So now I'm going to head inside, go to sleep Hopefully the effects of the Red Bull that Kyle gave me, they're worn off. I'll get some good night, good night's sleep. We'll get up early and we're gonna hit it hard tomorrow morning. So anyway, um, about three hours exactly in the car. And I'm psyched that we're here in Ogallala, Nebraska. Well, good morning from Ogallala, Nebraska. Had a great night's sleep here at the Americana Inn. Uh, 89 bucks, decent breakfast and superchargers v2s but actually a little bit of overkill for what you need here at a hotel um, i think this is the platte river perhaps or maybe it's just a pond but uh about 20 minutes up the road from here we're going to switch over from mountain time to central time so we're going to lose an hour it's 6 a.m it's time to hit the road in the model x we had a nice little breakfast highly recommend this place right off of uh, route 80 here in Ogallala, Nebraska. Let's get going. So just a quick trip update. We just crossed over here from mountain time to central time. So we just lost an hour. So, but everybody else did too, that are at least going. I was to say that, nobody else did. Everybody else did just going this direction. People going that direction, they just gained an hour. But um, yeah, so a couple of interesting points. We were heading, originally, we wanted to go all the way to Grand Island now, one of the things Kyle warned me about is that there are a lot of V2s here on Route 80 going, well, east and west. There's good speed limit here, 75, no wind, and the road is about as straight as it could be. So the autopilot is, is great for this. Uh, the road, every once in a while, gets a little grooved in it. So the car sort of goes back and forth. Now, this 2023 Model X does we do have the 19 inch wheels but the efficiency at 85 miles an hour 
is uh, not great. So, I mean, understandably, because we're using a lot of energy. So what was, what, what was really good was we decided to check out the bailout. You always want to have a bailout when you're thinking about road tripping. Uh, where can I stop as an alternative just in case I need to pull over and charge earlier based on the, based on the um, energy consumption? And so we were, we were scheduled to arrive at a state of charge of 5% at Grand Junction. And we got the indication, keep your, mile, keep your speed under 80 miles an hour. And so that's when Kathy said, let's look for a bailout, which we did. And interestingly enough, Kearney, which is 106 miles away, is actually a V3. And so that was a no brainer. We popped the speed back up to 85. We're now going to go to Kearney. We'll arrive there with a relatively high state of charge, 23%, but uh, we're going to keep this thing pegged at 85. Now, interestingly, the autopilot lane centering and adaptive cruise in a Tesla will only allow you to go a maximum of 85. So irrespective of the speed limit on, on you know major highways. And so I could go faster if I chose to, uh, but 85 is plenty fast. I don't think the differential speed when we're passing trucks like this, like this Hummer here, <laughs> I wonder if that's a, a Hummer EV. Um, yeah. Doubtful, right? No, I know. Well, we're going to start seeing 18 wheelers with uh, EV 18 wheelers soon, I think. But uh, we've got the South Platte River running parallel to us, and we're going to be coming into South Platte. But um, yeah, this this was this was a no-brainer to stop off in Kearney. That way, we pop the speeds back up. We'll burn the juice. We're estimating a 22% state of arrival with 104 miles to go. We'll keep an eye on that. I bet that thing we're going to pull in somewhere in the mid-teens is what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm not sure how intelligent this route planning is in Tesla. I'm going to watch this uh, to take into account how fast we're going and the consumption, the burn. So just to give you an idea how, how we are consuming energy, we're 467 watt hours per mile. That's not great average energy consumption. And again, nothing. I mean, this is a big vehicle, heavy vehicle, and uh, but we're we're uh, we're cranking it. So let's crank it out here in Nebraska. Beautiful cows. Lots of cows. Lots of cow White cows. Black cows Black and cows, white cows. Brown cows. And a bunch of white cows, which we're not sure we've ever I seen. I don't know if I've seen, seen white cows. black and white cows, yes. brown and white cows. We just saw a whole bunch of like albino cows. Yeah, I don't know if they were, maybe they're albino, but, know, but remember the Oreo cookie cows up in Wilmington, Vermont? Yeah, so they were so cute. They were like black and white, kind of looked like Walter. So an interesting thing just happened. I was uh, passing a truck and that Honda back there. So I, I gave it a little bit of juice manually with the pedal and may or may not have allegedly gone a little faster than what I was, had been doing in the past, let's just say. And I got a pretty violent <laughs> beep, beep, beep noise from Mr. Tesla here. And it did not like the fact that I was pushing the speed faster than the auto speed limit that the car is set to. And I'm now in uh, auto steer jail. I can still use the adaptive cruise, but I'm having to manually steer. So I've never seen that behavior before, although I'm not sure that I've ever done that either. I just really wanted to get past that truck. So I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's, um, it's not worth, I've only got 81 miles to Kearney and I'm not gonna pull over just to be able to get auto steer for 80 miles because we'll be there in less than an hour what's interesting though is it says we're 80 miles away from Kearney this is the Tesla nav it's telling me I'm going to arrive there in an hour and seven minutes but I'm doing 85 miles an hour I don't know about you but the last time I checked math if I've got 80 miles to go and I'm doing 85 miles an hour I would think I would arrive there in less than an hour 
but uh, this nav is telling me otherwise. So I don't know. Let's see. It's telling me I would arrive there with a at 9:24 a.m. with a 19% state of charge. I believe we're going to get there at, and there's no traffic that's evident. So maybe the speed limit goes down between here and Kearney. I don't think so, but uh, I think we're going to arrive. We're going to get there sooner, and we're going to get there in the mid to low teens as far as state of charge. So let's see. So, Kathy, you remember when I road tripped the Lucid back from Kyle's house to Connecticut sure. a while last year? And I stopped off at the Pony Express Museum. You know what the next exit is? Pony Express Museum? Yeah. Gothenburg, Gothenburg, Nebraska. And I just want to, we're not going to go through a full tour. I just want to show you this place. It's pretty cool. It's early. May not even be open yet because it's only 8 30. But uh I would like to see. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then there's also a a John Deere combo combine and combo. I'm thinking subway combo. Uh John Deere combine dealer. Like you know, you have a Chevy dealer, a Ford dealer, but out here in Nebraska, they've got and real real farm equipment and what i remember was the size of these machines are just they're just unbelievable and they're all different types of machines Is it at the same exit? yeah yeah we go right by it when we're going down and it's a cute little downtown gothenburg so next stop we're going to the pony express museum for those of you that watched the video the last time i'll put a link in the description but i went through a whole tour and i interviewed the guy that works in there really cool a couple of people actually that were in the town were walking their dogs by and they were, they were like, what is that? And I talked about the Lucid and there was a car guy there and uh, he was a gas car guy, but he loved the Lucid. So I'm so psyched to be able to show you this Pony Express Museum. Let's do it. So what I remember about the Pony Express Museum, the thing that was really, everyone's heard about the Pony Express and that's how you would carry the mail from, you know, Washington DC out to San Francisco. And, and it was it was back in the day when you didn't have a cell phone and, you know, you needed to get the message that maybe a war was over or maybe we were being attacked or whatever. And, and some uh, pretty amazing entrepreneurs started this Pony Express thing and they would charge a lot of money to be able to ride their horses with these messages across the country. And well, think how dangerous. It was, it was, it was dangerous because here is the uh, John Deere. Oh my God. Yeah. I will just do a quick spin through there. And here, let me put this on pause, but uh, look at this, look at this equipment. It's just incredible. Do you remember when John Deere had their, uh, convention down at the Ma JW Marriott. Oh yeah, Marcotte the corporate the convention, yeah. tractor right in front of the Marriott. Hotel. Yeah, but these are some pretty cool machines. I'm not gonna go through the mud over there. Colton would get mad at I me. But um, but look at how, how they're different types of machines. And look at this one, that's uh, probably, that's sprays. This one's got tracks over here. I don't know, there's the Misfit toy. There's one that's orange. Oh yeah, the Kubata. The off-brand. All right. I don't want to go through all this dirt. I feel okay. Well, you don't have to. Colton works so hard. No, I'm going slow, Lee. Look at this one over here. All right. If you had to pick one, which would you get? I'd get the biggest one. The I'd biggest? Get this one. This one here? That's even worse looking than the Cybertruck. Oh. <laughs> that's... That would squish that that's, Cybertruck. Look at all these machines back in here. This is that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Colton. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, stay on it, Dave. Stay in there. Bro, I'm just going slowly. Uh, all right, here. This, 
But honey, let's go. We're going shopping now. Okay. Fun. <laughs> look, look at that thing. So cool. I want one. I just want to go for a driving one. Every boy wants a John Deere. I bet these things have GPS. Yeah, they do. Look at that. The yellow up there with the antenna. Very cool. All right. Next stop, Pony Express. Then we're back on the road. Let's go. Listen to that noise. Is that all the mud that you caked into our tires? I think so. Colton. Sorry, Colton. We better, we better go back to Colorado and have this thing detailed again. And it'll, it'll, it'll work its way out by the time we get home. Jeez. Maybe, we'll, maybe it'll rain. It's pretty bad. Yeah, that was bad. Why did you make me do that? Oh, I don't know. It's always my fault. Next time, will you listen to me? Say, maybe that's not a great idea. Maybe we could take a picture from the road and not have to get in there in the mud bog. Right, where's Pony Express? It's up the road a piece. Okay. All right. This is a nice little street. Yeah, you can see the history in the homes. Yep. Yeah. And. Oh, look at this all for. Oh, yeah, cool. Nice. Pick up. We'll pick them up. And here, right over here on the right, is the Pony Express station. And. There it is. Wow, is that it? That's it. Look at that thing. Amazing. Yeah. That's just something. All right, we're going to get out, walk around it, and then we'll get back on the road. Okay. All right? They don't look like they're open. No, I don't think they are. It's not even 9 o'clock. Yeah. Or at least here it's not. Home it is. But I don't think that counts. Boy, that is a piece of history. <laughs> what? Oh, no. See, they moved this tier. I got to go back and watch my video to get the history of this place. But look at the... Uh... Look at the, the chinking on this log cabin. This is like, this is real. This is a real log cabin. This is really the original Pony Express station or an original Pony Express station, 1854. Yeah. It was- uh, Trading Post and Ranch House. Yeah. And let me see if I can take a peek inside there. Oh yeah. It's really cool. If you get a chance, Gothenburg, Nebraska, check it out. It's, uh... Yeah. Well, you did a great video and you took us all on a tour of the interior. Yeah. Let me just show you one last thing over here about the town. Um, and this is all about irrigation for farming. It was a boom town. Oh, yeah. So there was a man-made lake. Oh, I see Lake Helen over here. So... Yeah. And then they, they used... Uh, brought irrigation down so they could, uh, you know, keep, keep the farmlands all irrigated. So, but what a beautiful little spot here. I say we hit the road. Well, and I said, the Pony Express. for those of you who are seeing that, that, that Kathy parked in this handicap spot. Right. Oh wait, I did, but no one's here and we're moving back on the road. What'd you think? Isn't that cool? Very cool. Very cool. And you, know, you talk so much about it. I can't believe I'm actually in Nebraska. Turn left I get to see it. The thing that the thing that amazed me was for as much as as well known as the Pony Express is or was. Or I guess yeah, I see both we've got a lot of traffic here in Gothenburg. <laughs> two cars. <laughs> two cars. Here, let's document this with two video cameras. Well, what went by? Uh, <laughs> there we go. All clear. One of the guys that I that I talked to, I think, lived in this gray house right oh, over right? here. Yeah. Well, he had a nice short commute. Yeah, he, he had a cool couple of cool cars. I think Corvette. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, he was, it must be stored for the winter because there's nothing yeah. He, there. he had a be beautiful house there. Anyway, uh, what was interesting was the Pony Express 
that was started by these entrepreneurs, it only lasted for a year and a half, which I thought was crazy. Because yeah, when we learn it, we think history, we think that must have gone on yeah, for, for like decades. Yeah, 50 years or whatever. But but what happened was the telegraph, they were laying the wires for the telegraph from I think Missouri was was where it it's as far as it went. And then they kicked it off and brought it all the way out here. And it, more it eliminated the need for these guys to ride their horses. Can you imagine? That was a hard life. That was just insane. But um, yeah, it was all about communication, right? So anyway, let's get back on the road. With all that mud that you made me drive through, the car looks pretty darn clean. I mean, the tires definitely, definitely need a little, little something, something. But Colton, I, I think it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Still rocking that Colton. Oh, there's the duck. Still rocking that Colton shine. All right. All right. So welcome to charging stop number two. We're at a 15% state of charge showing showing uh, 52 miles of range. And this is Tierney, Nebraska. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, there's a lot of good stops here. There's an Arby's, there's a McDonald's. There's a uh, really nice dumpster right here, which is which is awesome. And, and in about a minute, Kathy's gonna start yelling, shut the door, shut the door. All right, let's see how we ramp up here. This is a V3, one of the few V3s along this Route 80 route here. But uh, we were preconditioning, and you can see this X, from what I remember, charges like a beast. Maybe not like the Chevy Silverado, but look at that, 256. And we're currently at a state of charge of 18%, already 19%. So the juice is just pouring in right now, which is great. Big battery pack in this car, over about 100 kilowatt hours. So you're not gonna be seeing the thousand miles per hour that you'll see in a Model Y, but don't let that deceive you. This charging curve is better. Uh, we'll check in once we hit 50%, just to give you a sort of a reference point. The Model Y will consistently charge, the, it'll, it'll pull 252, 256, similar to this. It'll stay up pretty high. But by the time you get to 50% state of charge, you'll be only pulling about 104, 105 kilowatts. Wait wait and see what, what we're gonna pull with this Model X at 50% state of charge. You'll see, much better charging curve on this car. All right, so when I road trip, I like to plug in and then I like to choose what my next destination is. And the way that I do that is I, I click on this little item here and then you see all of the chargers that, that pop up and What's interesting is Lincoln right over here, which is where I believe the University of Nebraska is with the Cornhuskers. That's what I, I, I kind of want to go check that out. Um, and there's two superchargers there. One of them is, is a 250 and the other is a 150. So be careful about that. And and so what I'm going to do is get just enough charge in order to get to this this uh, this 250 right here, which is which is uh, West O Street, and 
you really don't want to, because I want to go there, number one, and because I don't really want to charge too long because I want to have the taper work in my advantage. Um, we're going to, we're going to go here to this uh, place. Now you can see that if we're going to, if we're going to go there, it's telling me that we're going to arrive at minus 22%, which is interesting to me. I don't think that's right. I really don't. So here we are at a 49% state of charge. You'll recall that I was saying that the Model Y will be at 104 kilowatts. Look at this. This X is at 147, 146 at uh, 49%. So that's that, that's a, it's obviously it's a bigger battery. It's not as efficient as the Y, but um, I think that you, you know, you really, this is a better road tripper um, even being a larger car because it, 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 there you are one fit 143 at 50%. That's a full 40 kilowatts faster than the model Y in terms of charging. But, um, but yeah, so I just don't quite understand 50% state of charge. Let me just see what this is saying. As far as mileage goes, we go to display. Let me come up here to the distance. And that's telling me I've got 170 miles of range. Now, what I think the problem is, is I think that the car is actually smart enough to know that I've been doing 85 miles per hour. And therefore, that 173 that is showing over here is, is not right. Um, and I've got 127 miles to Lincoln's uh, V3. Realizing that, <clears throat> let me go to the energy screen here for a moment. Yeah, so you can see in the in the energy screen that that we're consuming more miles per. Well, basically, we're not as efficient as what the vehicle's uh, consumption, the estimated vehicle consumption. That's because we're carrying big speed. So you've got to use this screen here. That will, I do believe this minus 22 percent let me just see let me go back to hold on see tesla's giving me a lot of good advice here staying below 70 miles an hour would have saved 19.7 miles this drive increased climate control activity air drag tire drag and battery condition due to cold weather cost another 13 miles and if i were to have gone downhill well there is no downhill around here it's super flat i mean there, look there's a lot of things to consider but the the key thing here is that we're carrying major speed. So if I go back over to this, um, let me just go right here. It's saying minus 14% right there. I'm going to bring this up to, I'm going to bring that up to probably three, where it's saying that I'm going to arrive with 3%. And then we're going to take off and we're going to go to Lincoln. And then I'm going to check out and see at the 85 miles an hour if that if that if this is ac more accurate than clearly what that what that's showing over there this is based on the epa whatever it is epa estimated rates at a hundred percent state of charge this model x this morning was showing 300 or less when we left colton's shop was showing 335 miles of range which i had never seen before um and i've never seen that kind of range out of this vehicle because i drive it fast so, all right, next stop, Lincoln. We'll finish off this charge and then uh, then we'll head out. All right, so we it's the estimated time remaining to continue on the trip. It's saying nine minutes and we're at a 74% state of charge, pulling 80 kilowatts. I think it's time to leave. This estimation saying 2% over here, it, they probably want to give you, I don't know, maybe like, eight or nine or maybe even 10 percent there but what i can do is i can feather it in to lincoln easily with this amount of energy uh, we're at a 75 percent state of charge right now i think it's time to leave we're going to get going kathy what do you think about this strategy just give me a little buffer and we're good to go we got we got three percent buffer that's enough okay how about four percent Personally, I'd like 10%. Oh, we're not doing that. We're out of here. Five, five, five. All right, five. five. All right.
So we're at a 5% arrival estimation. Time to leave. 10%. Kidding me, Kathy? Uh-oh, she heard me. Do you think it's a casino? Oh no, is it a casino? We don't have time. Wait, but just to go see if they have slot machines? No. Not Wait. today. Why would, it's an archway monument. See, maybe if you had charged up a little bit more, I would feel like, yeah, we could take a little more time. But knowing that you didn't, it's an We're art. It's a monument. We have time for a monument. Archway monument. This is very beautiful. Look at that. Look at the. It's very, very beautiful. Wow. It's a historical exhibit, and I want to take the journey. No, you see it's you. All right. You well, see well, on just fast. <laughs> no, you see on the sign it says snacks. Can I go? No. Why? Go no, straight. They built that for us. Well, guess what? It'll still be there the next time we come. You said we're never coming back here. And then you said we would. All right. When we come back, we'll go there. Okay. I don't know what it is. Well, it's a historical it. arch. It's, it's probably beautiful. I that bet. was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. All right. Next time. Next time. Next time. And so just a quick update. We are 42 miles outside of Lincoln, Nebraska which is the capital of Nebraska, as well as where the real main campus of the University of Nebraska is, the Cornhuskers. We'll drive, we'll drive through there, I'll show you their football stadium and all that. Uh, but what's interesting is, remember you were having that concern about 4%, 10%, 5%, we're gonna arrive with a 17% state of charge, which which I've been thinking about this, and, and then I said, who's had my who's had my ex recently? <laughs> None other than Kyle Connor has had my ex, and what did he do? He took it up the rustic um, ring, ring rustic. the rustic ring, which is an 85 mile, like up, for those of you who saw our video that we posted before this one, got reacquainted with the ex, and we went up into the mountains with the Cybertruck, and over to Wyoming just for a, a quick, hey, we're in Wyoming, let's go back. Um, the BMS in this, I'm convinced the BMS in this truck was messed up. It was thinking about what had happened over the last, call it 100 miles with this vehicle and the consumption rate that it was using when it was going up and then down and the regen and the, you know, it just, it just was confused. So. I think what's going to happen is we continue on this trip. It's recalibrating. It's recalibrating. And, and so we need to, I need to get this vehicle back to the intended purpose, which is not towing a smart car <laughs> up the, up, oh, I just got locked out again. Oh, oh man. I'm in God, auto I'm steer jail. No, it wasn't that. It's just. I don't know. It was a you weren't keeping your eyes on the road. No, I was keeping my eyes on the road, but I was maybe not keeping my eyes on the road. I don't know. So anyway, I think that over the next next few stops, we're going to start to see. But boy, I'll tell you what, it, it was wacky how much, how off it was. But I, as I thought about it, I realized I may be wrong. This could be wrong, but... I, know, a, I actually feel like that makes a lot of sense. It does, yeah. But we'll, we'll tell as we go on. And better that we had more of a buffer than less. Well, that's because the use, what he was using it for, oh, was like a bizarre use case, showing up and down yeah. and all that. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll get this BMS, uh, the battery management system, which, which is really nothing more than a computer that's looking at how much energy is in the cells and then displaying on the screen to you how far you can go or what state of charge you're at. And it, and it gets confused when it's being been driven in different uh, ways. So as we, as we roll out this Route 80 trip and we're doing consistently, you know, 75, 85 miles an hour, I think it'll, it'll get better. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. But you, do you think I'm on this? I actually system? think that makes sense. Oh yeah, I that's can't right. Say that, but I, think I know. That's true, but I think I so. Think that makes sense. All right. Well, we're gonna prove this theory out. Yeah. So this is so exciting. <laughs> oh, right. Road trip. Road trip. Yeah. All right, so y'all remember that debate, 4% or 5%, Kathy won at 10%. Um, I left at 5%, and uh, this, this car is showing 18%, and I was doing 85 the whole way here. So I just talked to Kyle about this. He says it's not really the BMS. It's, it's some calculation that Tesla, he's noticed this on the race to Vegas, where he thinks that maybe uh, they're using active wind data to be able to estimate what the state of charge will be when you arrive and and it doesn't seem like it's um accurate so i think it's it's being super conservative something funky i'm going to see if it settles down i still think it may have something to do with the rustic uh ring that he ran but who knows we'll see we're going to go in here this this uh new runza this uh this restaurant over here called runza and this is the second supercharger that has been here these are v3s so it seems like Runza's got some good, um, you know, good idea of having people come here. I'm definitely going to go in there and buy something. They've got something called Frings. I don't know what that is. Maybe French fries and onion rings combined? Well, maybe it's like a hybrid. Maybe like a plug-in hybrid. I'm going to buy them. All right. So that Runza, not bad. Not great. It's okay. They have supercharging here. Um, Clean bathrooms. And there's a McDonald's right next door in case. Oh, is that? Yeah. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Um, yeah, so not bad. The the frings were nothing more than French fries and onion rings. <laughs> you got yourself all I was like, all, I was thinking there was going to be some new converged a, food, a like new invention. a fring, you know? <laughs> um, but there was. It worked out because I don't like onion rings, but I like the fries. Right. So that was good. Right, exactly. So I thought what we would do. Years ago, I haven't been to this town in a long time, and uh, years ago, I actually stayed at the Cornhusker Hotel. You did? Yes, I did, and it was really nice. Hmm. And I just want to go downtown and check that out. So let's, uh, we got a little bit of traffic here. Corn, I love corn too. The Lincoln Marriott Cornhusker. Yeah, Hotel. there we go. So, so let's check that out. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, a good my way. turn left onto West O Street. <clears throat> West O Street. Oh. West O. West O. It's like they couldn't think of a name. It's just O. O Street. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, what should boy. we name it? I don't know. <laughs> I think we should call it O Street. It's hysterical. Yeah. It's not even O H. It's just O. The letter O. Oh. oh. That's it. Like, where are you going? Oh. oh. I don't know. Well, let's go. To, oh, oh. <laughs> here we go. Oh, and also I want to show you the, the campus just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Wait a minute. Casino open 24 seven. No, we have no time. We got all the time. They're open 24 seven. 
Yeah, but we don't have the time. We're just calling sick on Say Monday. Say no. Say no? To the casino. To the casino. <laughs> mm, maybe you want to take a nap? No, I actually offered I would drive a little bit now if you wanted me to. Do you realize how many times we use the letter O? You just said no. It's in there a lot. Yeah. This is pretty. Okay. So, uh, this is pretty. See? So. <laughs> no, yeah. All right. Well, there it is, the Cornhusker. It's a Marriott. Now your uh, destination is uh, I, I don't remember it. No, I don't remember it like that at all. I remember it being... Well, look at it. It's a beautiful staircase, all mahogany wood. Just gorgeous. Yeah. Old-fashioned. But I don't know. That seems like a new building compared to when I was here. Look, Doesn't that look kind of new? It looks new. Did um, Marriott own it when you were here? How I don't, many years ago I don't, was it? I don't know. 20 yeah, years ago? I don't even remember. It's been a long green time. Light. Okay, green light. Green light. All right. So I'm going to go right here. And then I just want to go down where the center of the, the campus is. You can roll up your windows. Okay. Let's see. It's getting warm. It's warmed up to 53 degrees. It's like a heat wave. Okay. Right. Let's see. University. There it is. Where? Nebraska. Kearney. That's, that's the one we no, want. No, no. Here. Oh, yeah. Seven-tenths of a mile. Okay. There we go. All right, let's see. Which direction? Okay, up that way. And that's good, because that's right on the way back to okay. where we need to go. All right, let's go. Let's, right. let's check it out. This is the university where Katie's friends went. Uh, oh, the ones when she was studying in Rome. In Rome. 500 feet, turn right onto South 10th Street. They got numbers and letters. It's a good system. I finally figured it now out. Turn right it on it actually South makes a lot of Street. sense. Right? Because you don't really need to know the town to know the town. Here? Yeah. 10th yeah. Street. 10th Avenue, Freeze Avenue. The Kareen Garden? Ghetto? What is it? Ghetto. <laughs> ghetto? The Ghetto. It was Ghetto. Oh my gosh. Latitude. Yeah, all these cities out here kind of look the same to me. I don't have enough to compare it to. Well, just imagine what every other city looks like. This is what well, it looks like. Well, if it like. looks like every other cornfield we passed, well, then yes, I get it. There's a lot of corn, a lot of corn. coming out of this area. <sighs> nice pickup truck over there. What? That is a massive football stadium. That is something. Yeah. Now enter the roundabout and take the first exit. Okay. We're going to enter this roundabout. Here we go. And we're going to enter going this. Going up Stadium Drive. Now your destination is on the right. Yeah, look at that thing. Beautiful. This is big, fo big football stadium. Yeah. All right. Nice. Not the victory, but the action. Not the goal, but the game. Indeed, the glory. Yeah. It's not the destination. It's the journey. journey of course. And that's because we're road tripping. Don't we know it? Nebraska Athletics. All right. Well, uh, let's just take a quick, quick little Tour. gander yeah. around here. Do you think here. that's shut off? Do you think we go up this way? Yeah, I think we'll go up to the left here. Okay. Follow that Genesis? Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I don't really want to follow like, him. <gasps> But, uh, yeah, that's some football stadium right there. That is nice. Out, outdoors, not enclosed. So right, yeah. <clears throat> cold winters here if they're playing right in the fall and yeah. De December. Yeah, they don't fool around here in Nebraska. Yeah. Um, oh, look, it has little budding trees. It's starting to look like spring. Very pretty. Do you think I'm allowed to drive through there? Uh, no. You don't think so? It didn't so. say not to. I know, but it feels like this is walkways. Are we on the sidewalks? I think you're on a sidewalk. I'm driving on a sidewalk? Yeah, this isn't good. Okay, it looks is... like, uh, well, it is a Saturday, but it looks like the <laughs> campus is pretty quiet. So I think it must be break. spring break. Nobody's here. <laughs> yeah, well, tomorrow's Easter, so I'm thinking that is All right. Place, which is good because we're driving on a sidewalk. We're out of <laughs> Out of spec style. Hamilton Hall. Have you okay. ever seen a Model X drive right here before? 
Probably not. All right. It's the College of Arts and Sciences. Well, this is yeah, the no, this, is, this is the Tesla of Dave and Kathy. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, All right, I think we're out of here. Yeah, I think. I so mean, too. it's a big That's campus. A big, big campus. Yeah, All chemical right. engineering. Oh, we saw it. It's lovely. <clears throat> okay. All right, we came. We saw it. We conquered. Would you like to drive? I'm not sure if we conquered. But it conquered us. I know. I'm not sure. We, There's we nobody here. I saw one guy on a bicycle. That looks nice up there. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful, oh, that's beautiful pretty. campus. Really nice. Great. Richards Hall. Just cold. In the oh, there's winter. another person. Wow, you saw two whole I saw people. saw two people. <laughs> another person. All right, so let's... Let's get back. Put in... Where are we going? South Bend, Indiana? Yeah, well, that's close enough. Okay. Uh, uh, was going to Des Moines. Uh, oh, well, Shelby in Iowa gets us in with... Um, 37%. Let's okay. try this. Yeah, we'll do that one. Fort, wait, Grinnell, Gr Iowa? Oh, wait, wait. What is this one right or here? Peru. Grinnell. Okay. And then this one here is... Peru? That's too far. That's 396 miles. That's too far. Let's try... No cars? Nobody. No. Take your time, Dave. <laughs> uh, figure out where you're going. Uh, da, da, da. So here, here's Grinnell. We're gonna oh, go. That looks pretty far. Well, that's past Des Moines. It is past Des Moines. This is where we're going. Okay. Now, what do we get there with? I don't know what this thing's saying here. Thirty-seven percent. Oh, because it's having us charge. Let's eliminate Shelby. Okay. Oh. There's a car coming, believe it or not. Let me get, let me move Behind out of the way. Behind us? Yeah. Oh yeah, well we did end up in the parking lot. That's yeah. True. There, no parking anytime. It's Don't mind me. Spring break. We drive on sidewalks. Don't signs, mind me. Signs mean nothing to us. All right. We're going to, uh, what is that? Shelby, okay. And get there with what? Iowa. And we will get there with 37%. That's, okay, but maybe we charge quickly. And all right, we're just we going to go there, but then we're going to cancel that. Okay. All right. So Is we that are. the right direction we're going? We're heading up wow, a little look bit at more that. north. Dave? What was that? We are heading sort of northeast. Okay, and that's where 80 is? We're not getting. Yeah, a we're staying road, on 80. Right? Okay. And then it's a straight shot from. To Chicago. To Chicago. All right, let's hit the road. Let's yeah, do this. Let's do it. All right, so Kathy, I think what your your suggestion is to drop off here at Shelby, charge up for maybe five ten minutes, just a splash and dash, yeah. and then Get what we'll do is we'll go to Des Moines. Now there's three superchargers in Des Moines. We'll go to the two fifty there. This one here in Shelby is only one fifty, but it's saying that we're only going to arrive if we went to the Des Moines, it would be an arrival of 2%, keeping it under 70 miles an hour. Yeah, I can't do it. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just be a little cautious. With any luck, maybe there's Dairy Queen here. This could be... This could be... So we're going to get off here in Shelby, Iowa, and then... In 1,000 feet, turn left... Yeah, we'll do a little... Street. We'll get a little juice and then we'll be on our way to Des Moines. Yeah, All right. sounds like a good plan. Good, 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 good suggestion.
All right, so here we are in Shelby. Kathy did that leg there. And uh, yeah, we've got this Model Y over there pulled into the to the one on the on the side. Really should leave those for CCS cars, people. Just in my opinion. And let's see, keep keep going, Kath. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. All right, that's that should do it. All right, now let's plug in. This is just a V2. We're going to do a There we go. Plug in. Let's see. It's usually 6 seconds. I don't know. There it goes. A little longer than six seconds, but uh, yeah. All right, you did good. Just for the record, the car was dinging at me. That's why I kept stopping. Well, you see this one here has got really nice little bumpers here. This is also a little bigger than my Y. Yeah. You all know how good I am at parking my Y. Yeah, so, that's true. But I appreciate your assistance. Thank yeah, you. okay. I was here to help. That's All right, so we're just going to go in, maybe use the restroom, come out, and then we'll... Uh, I think I have to get some licorice. I, know, I need to get an ice cream. Strawberry licorice. All right. I, I, I just grab my handbag. Shelby, Iowa. Here we are at the Taylor Quick Pick. Pretty cool. Shell gas. What's that? All right, well, Kathy's finishing my Blue Bunny ice cream. And it's, it's pretty good. It's not Dairy Queen, and you know what that means. Two things. Number one, I did not finish the entire ice cream. Number two, it's not Dairy Queen. Therefore, when we see Dairy Queen, that's still a play for today. I don't disagree. Okay, that's good. All right, now, so we are actually going to skip Des Moines. We, we just went in, we used the bathroom, we got coffee, ice cream, uh, took a picture. What? M&M's. M &Ms. And we were like ready to leave and we are already charged up to 62 percent and we overcharged for des moines so we're going to go to grinnell but you iowa it's okay because that's the time well we time. yeah we did we did what we needed to do so and that was a that was a v2 so that wasn't even a v3 so what we're going to do is we're we're going to watch this charge this session here because it tells me we are 148 miles away from Grinnell. We're at a 61% state of charge, and it's telling me that we'll arrive at a 7% state of charge. So <clears throat> just because I'm not sure the information that's being displayed to me with this vehicle, because of whether it's the wind or the BMS or the fact that Kyle took it on the rustic ring, I don't know. Um, I don't have the confidence up yet that I know this truck. And so we're we're gonna learn it. Uh, Is it a truck though? It's it's an it's X. An SUV. It's an X. I would call it a truck. It's an SUV. Can You're I, right. Can I just make a comment off topic? Yeah. There are very few Teslas in this in this part of the country. Yeah. I'm seeing only a handful. And the only ones that we're seeing are, are, are at, at the chargers. superchargers. Yeah. I know. By us, you know, even Diamond doesn't. But here, I've really yeah. been surprised. Yeah. You know? Well. You know, this is this is America right here. This is you know not the left coast, not the right coast. A lot of a lot of pickup trucks. A lot of pickup trucks. This is farm country. A lot of and, corn. A lot of corn. And but I think if you were to go into Des Moines, if you were to go into Anchor, if you were going to Omaha, you know there, there's there's more and more that are coming up. But clearly, wait till you see Chicago. I mean, you know that's like. The big cities like Denver, Chicago, they all have it. But but when you're in the country, we were at the uh, uh, the Pony Express Museum. There was a McDonald's. We ran in real fast there. This real local guy in Nebraska, he came up to me and goes, "How's that electric car doing?" You know, like he had a real. And Kat, Kathy thought I was on the phone. She's like, will you get off the phone? I'm like, I'm not on the phone. I'm talking I, to this. I didn't see the guy. I'm talking to this nice gentleman. And like, yeah, he's probably, ah, he's rude people from Connecticut. So he goes. I'm sorry. I really didn't know. I know. I know. Person. 
Yeah, it was a real person. <laughs> it was an older gentleman. He got in his Chevy, and uh, and he. Oh, I hear those electric cars don't charge good in in the cold. And I said, well, you know, there's a bit of truth to that. Um, oh, look at these windmills. Yeah, beautiful windmills. Can you get that on? Yeah, here, we'll, fl we'll flip this on. Sure. There's flip a lot. It. They go all the way down. Flip it on. I know. This is when we're starting to get into windmill country here. All the way down. Yeah. So, but anyway, you know, it's, it's amazing how the edge cases get into the minds of mainstream people that they, you know, why would you do that if you can't even charge it? You can't even go where you want to go well, on the call. That was that big news. Yeah, I know. Came out of Chicago, I, right? I, winter. It's true. It happened. And that's all he, I bet that's all he. That uh, is right. That and so, but, you know, look, I think it's, that's why we're not pushing EVs, right? If it's not, if you're not ready for it, don't, yeah. don't go for it. Um, but, oh, you're going to have plenty of time to get pictures of windmills. Oh, yeah, zoom zoom in on them. Are you gonna take a picture or take a picture? Oh, no, take a video. This is okay. So She's like, oh, a windmill. Wait till she sees how many windmills we're gonna see. Oh, we are. Oh, we yeah, there are lots of. Them. Okay, but this is really for me. I don't get to see them that often. No, I know. I know. They're beautiful. You know, um, they're they're kind of controversial too, which I'm not gonna get into, but. Uh, and they, they pivot, they swing around based on the direction the wind is coming from. They're, uh, I actually think they're pretty. See, but anyway. That's all I needed. Just a little Will you text that to me? Yeah, later. I'll put that in the video. Sure. Right really here. Really, you just mocked me, you're going to put it in the video. Then I what? You just mocked me. I didn't mock you. I heard you. I didn't. Oh, she thinks this is the only windmill she's going to see. I did say so, that. Was that, is that mocking? Right. Because I got a little, a little enthusiastic about all these windows. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, let's just see. I'm not sure. We're going to end this trip, and we're going to go to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Temperature. That's all right. No, no worries. Wow, look back there. How many there are? See, there we go. Holy cow! <laughs> There's lots of wow. windows. Wow. Yeah. Some guy woke up one day. He's like, I have an idea. It's really windy here. It's called, what, you know. Dave, look how far back they go. Yeah, I know. And you can't even see half of them. No, I'm sure. Or even 90% of them. Well, that's so, uh, so we are going to go to Grinnell. Or Grinnell. And we're going there. And let's see what state of charge it says we're going to get there with. Any day now. Hello. Eleven percent. Yeah. See. And uh, so we're going to up to speed. Actually, I'm not going to up to speed because it's speed limit seventy here. So I'm going to keep it within reason. Uh, all right. Onward. That blue bunny was pretty good ice cream, but it's not Dairy Queen. We got to find a Dairy Queen. Why not? I mean, when I'm when I travel with Bailey, I know, I know. She likes Dairy Queen. Yeah, it's all about Bailey. That's right. Uh, oh, one thing I do want to discuss. So you know, the big news this week was that Tesla announced that everyone was going to get FSD free for a month. How do you feel about FSD? I didn't even hear that announcement. You didn't? Did I get something in my inbox? I had nothing. Do not keep your ear to the ground. You're out of spec mom. Well, I know. It's shocking. I don't know the latest, <laughs> but I don't know the latest. Does that apply to my car? My Model Y? Yes. So everybody is in everybody. Model 3s, Model Y. That's yeah. my understanding. Here's how I feel about it. Okay, here That's she goes. That's dangerous. I agree. I, I'm not doing it. You, you don't even... You don't even want to use cruise control. But I did. I cruise? Did. I, I, but I want to steer, you said, right? No, no. I like to drive. I just okay. like to drive. All right. But I did. I, that lap I did up back there, my little lap. Uh, Your lap? However far. 
Oh, the last, okay, the last section. You were snoring. Was I snoring? Here. Yes. Was I? Did you film me? Why does this sound like a surprise? No, no, I didn't film you. Anyway, so, if that's true and everybody's getting FSD, I don't recommend it for everybody. Sorry, that's going to be very dangerous. It's going to be a lot of people that are going to be going, going out oh, there. This is great. Yeah, if you see a Tesla over the next month, I would avoid it. Just stay, <laughs> like, go the other direction, right? Um, look, Kyle's out testing version 12 right now. I don't have it yet in this car. Uh, let me see what version we're running here on here. Software. And I don't even have a download for it yet. I'm still on 11 point call, please. Danish windmill. Let's, let's go check that out. I'm on uh, 11.1.2024.8.4, and I have not gotten the invite yet for FSD. Now, I know that I could use 10,000 referral points and get FSD for three months. Wait a minute, so everybody's not getting it. Everybody should be getting it. It's rolling out. It's, it's for free or for a, a month for free. A month for free. They're trying to, so what, what Tesla is doing is they're dangling hey, use this software that allows you your car to drive itself or, you know, driver assistance, check it out. And I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely check it out and I'll yeah, give you my opinion. I'm not. You're very capable. I you understand. It I understand it. And I. I and even you have had a lot of experience with it. You don't think it's. I am. It doesn't have all the kinks in. I am an early adopter of technology, as you as you know, right? And and I'm in, I'm I'm very intrigued with the concepts that everyone is talking about FSD, but I'm also very realistic about what it does well and what it does not well. And and from what I'm hearing, some people are saying it does super well um, with version 12, and I I definitely want to check it out. I I've been using it over the years, and. Kyle and I have made videos. I've made videos. I've used it. We had it. I had it for three months when I first got this vehicle. This vehicle came free with FSD for three months. I can I can get it any day I want. Um, you could subscribe to it for 199. But you know Tesla's giving it away for a month. Wow! Look at that over there. Is that a fire? I hope it's not or a tornado. Is that a tornado? It doesn't look like a tornado. No, uh, that's a fire. It it's yeah. It did, it did look a little spinny. Um, so I, I, I like where it's going, but I'm not using FSD. What I love is I love, whoa, <laughs> hold on. Oh, Rivian, oh Amazon. My God, you're like squirrel. Did you see that? There were the Rivian vans, the electric ones. Um, what I do like is I like the lane, the lane centering. And I do like um, the adaptive cruise, and I wish I wish this vehicle had enhanced autopilot for lane changes. Well, is that what's coming out? FSD includes that, so that's nice. It would have been nice to have it for this trip, but I'm okay with it. I just I, I hit the button two times. I take the lane myself. I I actually prefer lane changes myself. I do think there's something to be said on a long trip that you sort of actively have to be engaged to stay awake. I think you can get really lethargic on a long trip like this. All right. Like so let's talk you. about that. You said something that you don't want to use. Forget about FSD. Forget about enhanced with lane changes. You're you're not even willing to get comfortable. You've been driving Teslas for years. Your your GV60 had very good, um, you know, driver assistance, HDA1, um, but you didn't really ever use it. Look, even back in the days before I had an electric car and I had cruise control, I still didn't want to use it. So, I, I happened to like just to drive. But I did use it, Dave. I yeah. have used it. I just used it. Um, you didn't use the lane centering? Well, no, I don't want you to. You just use cruise control. That's it, cruise control. Okay. That's as far as I And, and 
you said something to me about why you don't even want to use the lane centering with the adaptive cruise, AKA autopilot for Tesla, because you would fall asleep. Can you explain that to me? What, why? Because I think there's something there. Because I, my brain is not actively engaged in trying to keep the car centered on the road, keeping the distance I want between vehicles, and not just the car in front of me, but also a car that might be next to me. Okay. We both have cruise control on 80, then we're just driving down the road like this. I don't like that. I want to be either ahead or behind, typically ahead of the car. So I just want to be able to maneuver, and I know I had it on, I shut it off, I can do all that. It's just I have a tendency to, I don't know, zone out if I don't, if I'm not driving, and I like to drive. So like, for all of you who understand what Kathy's saying, I'm not criticizing oh, I you. Be a problem. No, no, I no, think I, I, I don't care. There, I can't. I'm going to be doing. There are, there are, uh, there are a few more than one luddites in the world. <laughs> um, and what? What did you call me? You're a Luddite. Okay. Do you know what that is? No. Don't you? don't look it up. Okay. Yeah, I know what it is. It it's the opposite of me. I'm a I'm a, I'm an early adopter of technology. A Luddite will refuse to even have a cell phone because it's not scary. Not no, I know you're not that bad. That's what that What's was. That? Was that like my mother who didn't want the microwave? The microwave, <laughs> right. She didn't want the microwave, <laughs> right? But you're, you're not a Luddite, but you have Luddite tendencies for certain things. Okay. And, and But I want to I want to, I want to throw another concept out at you, another way of thinking about Tesla Autopilot that I have always been interested in the technology. When I'm driving, my brain is, I'm having to give it the gas, you know, accelerate, decelerate, I'm having to steer, I'm having to do all these things. And all of those little micro adjustments that your brain is doing behind the scenes is what makes you really tired on a road trip at the end of the day, okay? And so if you take all those things away from you, you have more energy to focus on other things, to think about other things, to think about maybe how happy you are that that this is our 35th year of being married, right? Or how happy you are that we're blessed to have this beautiful Model X. See those right over there? Those are the blades for the windmills on okay. the ground. Yeah, wow. that's where they're, they're making, they're, they're installing more of them. Wow. So, but the thing that I have found with Tesla Autopilot is I constantly watch to see what it's going to do like here's a situation right now we got this jeep that's what being towed that that's a that's a porsche oh, 9 911 that no that's a 911 and and you've got all these things now what is it going to do what is the what is the technology going to do that's what i'm curious to see i'm really interested to see how te the tesla or whatever car it is now here this guy's moving over right that's a cayman actually and um uh, it's a mid-engine car, not a rear-engine car. And now we're accelerating. Yeah, we're, no, we got. I got oh, it. It's, it's on. on. Yeah, it's on. So now you see how we're we're accelerating past. I'm watching what it's doing, and I'm ready to take over at a moment's notice if I have to. But I'm really interested in what it's doing, and that to me is a fascinating sort of mind game that I like to play. How do you feel about that? That's good for you. You don't like that. I'll tell you what I really That's don't fair. like. I've heard and I've witnessed it. I hope you don't say car. me. You don't like me. I've been in the car when this has happened. <laughs> okay. I don't like phantom braking. Yeah. And that scares me. And I don't want to be in this lull of, ooh, thinking how well yeah, the technology that's, is. That's a fair point. When all of a sudden I have a tractor trailer on this side of me, something else on the other side, and all of a sudden I'm phantom braking. Yeah. How many phantom brakes have we had on this trip now? We're this how far one. in? How far into this trip are we? I, I think we just We're, had one, and it was minor. It actually wasn't phantom braking. Oh, Remember that guy was towing that house, yeah, and I yeah. wasn't far enough over. It was slowing down because I was still in. We're six hundred and six miles into this trip, not one phantom braking yet. Yeah. Not now Kyle said he did. He did experience it three or four times. So I'm not saying it's it's immune to the phantom braking, but so far. 
In this car? In this particular car. I have it. Was I not supposed to do that? I have it. My, was it, I shared my Blue Bunny ice cream with you. I'm out here. Let me get you one. Thank you. I'm honored. You gave me the flavors you don't like. No, I didn't. They all taste the same. You do? I don't you, really think they taste the same. No, they, you can't tell the difference between a green and a brown M&M? I can. Oh, are you special? <laughs> you analyze that too? The technology and making the coating? I do. Chocolate. I think about it. Gastonel Oaklock Holmes. Look at that. Or windmills over there. Or windmills over there. All right. Well, listen, I respect your thought process around FSD. Well, you actually don't because you get very frustrated with me. Yeah. But I don't care. I'm going to drive the way I want to drive. And, and I did use cruise control. Yes. And that was fine, except for a few times where I felt like even that was wonky and I just took over. Okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with driving a car, even if you're equipped with the technology. What's the difference? Okay. okay. I will tell you one thing that I do wish this car had, which your Genesis did have and my Ionic 5 did have. How about massaging seats? Well, yes. Oh, wasn't that? That's the only thing I'm... Oh, by the way, we're going to have a little discussion about cars that have massaging seats. Why? Because I think you need that. Not getting rid of my car. No, I'm not asking you to get rid of your car. <laughs> I just want to have a... Dis later on. Later on. Will you have a discussion with me? Oh! oh there's the sign. That... I guess, I guess, I guess I shouldn't push it. <laughs> All right, so just a quick trip update here. We are, let's talk about this, 660 miles into the trip. And we are currently uh, 50, no, 65 miles away from Grinnell, Iowa. And currently doing 77 miles an hour. We're in a little bit of traffic, so we're not carrying the same speeds, but we have a 1% state of arrival at Grinnell, um, but I'm not worried because I'm not going to stop at Des Moines. I'm going to push it to Grinnell. We have um, 64 miles of range according to the, to the indicator in, in Tesla, and we're... And, Actually, we're, we're 64 miles away from Grinnell, and we've got 90 miles of range. So that's 26 mile buffer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn that down to a right around 10%. Now, Tesla already sort of overrode me, and it said, stop in Des Moines. And I'm, I, I overrode that. I'm, so, I'm sort of fighting with it a little bit. Um, don't tell me what to do. I wanna do I want to go to Grinnell and I'm going to, if I need to, I will go 55 or 60 miles an hour for the last few miles. But I think it's a better strategy to push that because um, Grinnell is a 250 and there, while there is a 250 in Des Moines, I'm not in a race or anything here, but I'm just trying to optimize the best strategy. So I do want to get to, I do want to get to this uh, 250 in Grinnell and I'll just feather it in. Uh, but let me do my job, Tesla. Don't tell me what to do. So we are getting off exit 182. Of... Now take the exit on the right towards Grinnell. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn off. We are um, we're at one percent state of charge right now. Five miles remaining, and we're only 0.6 miles away from. Turn left onto Highway 146. Okay. Plan your next charger. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I have. This is the exact way to road trip this truck not the exact way to road trip an f-150 lightning for sure i learned my lesson hard there but um you know we've got five miles of indicated range and the charging station's right over there i caught i probably could have upped the speed a little bit more but quite frankly the speed limit was 70 i was doing 80 like 79 80 and that was fine so very pleased with the optimization of this particular charging stop it was a smart thing for us to skip Des Moines and push it off to 
Grinnell. So I'm uh, very happy with this. All right, so here we are in Grinnell, Iowa, and we got the V3 cranking away, just plugged in, and perfect. Pulled in with 1% state of charge, five miles remaining. Excellent. And uh, I'm gonna go use uh, the ladies' room and I think maybe get another Blue Bunny ice cream. No, I'm not, I'm not. So just a little lesson here. Don't always assume you're getting good speeds because <clears throat> look at this, we're only getting 158. Now I know we plugged in at a low state of charge, but um, you know, the state of charge we plugged in at with the percentage was 1%, now we're at 8%. We should be pulling way more than this. So guess what, I'm moving. All right, so let's plug into this 1A over here because I don't know why we had limited power going on there. So let's jump in here and see what the dealio is. And Maybe it's just because we're at a low state of charge. See, I still need to get to know this, this Model X. Well, I'm just gonna let it sit here. At a 9% state of charge, one would think we'd be pulling more energy than that. Well, let's watch it. Now it's starting to jump, ramp up. At 10%, okay, 180, 181, 184. Interesting. Now it's starting to pop up. So it's possible I'm gonna to have to look at that and see. I mean, if that's the case, it doesn't make sense to pull in so low in this vehicle, but that's not my experience with every other Tesla I've owned. I have not road tripped this vehicle enough to know that something's odd there. And I mean, it's, what's the temperature out right now? 63 degrees and now we're getting proper speeds and we're at a 12% state of charge. So next, next trip, we, we definitely want to bring it below 10% onto the, into the next charging station and check that out as we once again are learning the Model X. All right, so Kathy, how's the trip going so far? Are you comfortable in this Model X? It's comfortable, it's flawless, and now we've got 63 degrees in sunshine. I know. This is a good day. I know, well, we're still in Iowa yeah. in Grinnell, but we're gonna head to Peru, Illinois. Illinois which is not too far out of, what, Chicago. out of Chicago, west out of Chicago. We're making good progress, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we'll just keep going. Let's go to Maine. Oh. Connecticut's not far enough. <laughs> we'll just go. One, one little stop at a time. Yeah. Well, you're a good traveling companion. Yeah, you're a good traveling yeah, companion. You're, yeah, I'm all right. I don't know. We talk a lot. Do we need a foot-long cookie from Subway? Oh. I think we do. Look at, the, look at these things. Foot-long cookie from Subway. I think we're going to need two of those. Wow, Are they have footlong pretzels and footlong churros. <laughs> Let's get a churro. That's good. And blue bunny ice cream. Oh, you want your ice cream? I need Dairy Queen. It's all right. This is the worst part about a road trip. We don't need anything healthy. I know. Well, here we are at the, at the come and go. Oh, man. Well, we came and we went. And, uh, you know, I hadn't had my fruit for the day. So, Kath? What do I get? May I present you with? Little Debbie apple pie. <laughs> All right. And then Go Kathy hadn't heard her fruit, so she got the strawberry Twizzlers. And then, of course, because we need to have fiber, That's we got the we sun chips. Much. And then... But we did, get, we did get some water. We did get a 24-pack of water, which in the grocery store would be like three ninety nine, But at the uh, at the Cayman went, uh, that would be Whatever. eight bucks. Whatever. Whatever. It's It's okay. But well, look at how awesome the Model X looks. Oh, yeah. So good to have it back. Wow, you're fancy. You have a fancy car. That's very ostentatious. I know. See, I really think it is. No, it's so cool. Especially at the come and go. Come on. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. I just, we haven't seen one Bucky's this whole trip, and I don't think we're going to. It's very disappointing. I hope Chicago's got a Bucky's. You 
right? They need to come north. But you already had your beef jerky because Kyle had. I know. I'm eating beef jerky. I know, but I'm still going. I I want a beef brisket sandwich for dinner. (laughs) That'll that'll complement the little Debbie apple pie. I got to go on a diet after this. Yeah, I've been on the road so much this year. We said we Canada, then it was New Jersey with Tom and Kyle, and then are how much? Wait, day? what price are you? Super unleaded or diesel? Which is more expensive? Diesel. Definitely diesel. All right, Kathy, we have uh, 261 miles of range, and we're only 199 miles away from Peru, so we're out of here. Okay, is this right? just so I can ask you, is this just saying it's taking us three hours and three minutes to our location? That's what it says. Okay. Yeah, and it's saying we're going to arrive with a 12% state of charge, but that's because it doesn't know how fast I'm going to go. You know, I was just thinking, the thing about these Tesla superchargers, you know, there's no one here now. No. The thing that's good about them is they come and go. Oh, my God. It's so cheesy. And we came and went. We haven't gone yet. Oh, yeah, We're that's true. Here. we got to put it in gear. Let's go. All right. Well, see you later. Come and go. Subway and that diesel fuel. We're out of here. All right. But Let's go. hit the road. We're going to Peru. With our chips. With our chips. And we have a new passenger. Little Debbie. And my favorite. Thanks to Eminem. Twizzlers. We are set. Am I going the wrong way? No, here. Um, all right. Just pay attention, David. Will you pay attention? See, after all these years, I read my mind. I just hear I that all the time. I just hear. Will you pay attention, pay attention. David? Pay attention, David. Uh, well, it's good. It saves me time. It's very expensive to pay attention all the time. Uh, I just. Uh, off we go. Which way, west or east? Uh, Who's going first? So we probably could have made it to Peru, but I decided to pull in here at Iowa City just to do a quick splash and dash because, uh, yeah, the missus was getting a little tight. Plus, I had to use the restroom, uh, if I'm honest. So that I did, and we're actually out of here. We're really not here very long, and now we won't have any issues with, uh, yeah, with the Peru. So let's go. All right, so just a quick check-in. We are 815 miles into the trip. 
that truck's going over the line. Did you hear me? Um, so, yeah, 815 miles into the trip. We've got a Mr. Policeman up here. We, we, there we go. Yeah. Um, anyway, we are heading to Peru, Illinois. And it says we're going to arrive there with a 4% state of charge. And, but the way I look at it is we've, we're 114 miles away and we've got 160 six miles in the tank so i'll just um again feather that in now what i what i want to do is i do want to come in at a low state of charge and see how this truck charges below 10 percent because to to our last session. not just the, the one before that one not right this yeah not this little top off one it's in uh, iowa city but the uh the one before that because it didn't pop up over to 250 until it hit 10 percent and i don't i don't recall your why doing that so and i don't know remember we even switched we even switched yeah. uh superchargers well as it looks now it looks like we'll arrive at the next one uh a little bit more than an hour and a half with only four percent state of charge right so which is weird because we left and it said we had 14 percent yeah we go in so you must have worked a little too Well, I was moving pretty fast. good there. Well, now it says 3%. Yeah. Well, so. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's. starting to get a little out of spec style now. I but I still, know. again, I'm going by, and I, I know Kyle likes the percentages, and I do like the percentages as well. But I like to look at how many miles I have left the mileage itself versus the miles that I have to go. Because that's absolute and then as the gap starts coming down that's how i manage it so i'm not worried about it but um yeah now it's down to three percent so it's i'm gonna let it do it let it do its thing you remember the last time we did this when we pulled in the time before last we were two percent one percent for a long long time right so i think the i think the x is kind of figuring things out also look at the mileage but there is a place if we have to bail for this Peru. Is right? there? No we can't. Where? We can't. Uh, oh, no, I thought they were everywhere but not. <laughs> everywhere? I thought along I-80. Uh, we just did the bail and charged right but so we're, we're not stopping before Peru. Peru is is going to be fine. Oh, wait there's right there's a couple places they're up there. We're not going there. There's this one here. I'm not going there. We just did a bail. I'm not doing another bail. I'm going to manage it with speed. I can't do two bails. I don't know. I'd rather bail and be fast not bail. No, you, if, if you bail, you got to bail properly. And maybe I didn't bail properly. And therefore... Oh, I wanted to stay on I'm not bailing again. I'll slow down. I don't like to slow down. If I bail two times, Kyle, I'm not even sure what this you would do. This is not about Kyle. This is about us getting home in a reasonable fashion without having to be towed by the Tesla tow truck. Just bail. Just give me a little more juice. When I was the last time I ran out of juice? Oh, really? You want to go there? All right, so we've made it to Peru, uh, Illinois. 
this is a beautiful brand new place. There's a duck pond over there. And whenever my my ex locks now, it makes quacking noises. And he was just quacking. Yeah, he was just quacking at it. So um, 20 stations here, but be careful here in Peru because there are there are 12 V3s, which start right over here. <laughs> oh, there, there, my car just locked. And then there's 12 V3s, and then there are eight V2s right over there. Um, so not, not the end of the world. Anyway, we pulled in at a state of charge of 4%, which was, which was great, perfect. Interesting, um, yeah, this X is kind of still figuring things out it hung out at 3% for a while and I was maintaining my speed really well and it popped back up to 4%. So I think it's uh, it just needs to be road tripped a little bit more and we will continue to do that. But what an easy trip this, is, um, this has been. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go over here, check it out. Buffalo Wild Wings, they got a Culver's. You know, it's interesting, Kathy, we have a bunch of Culver's down in Florida. Oh, I know. And and the thing is that a lot of the um, a lot of the Midwesterners they say, oh, that's from that's from up north, and we thought it was a southern. Th we saw yeah, it, for sure. but, but this sure is enough, the first one we've seen. Yeah, this is the first one we. Surprising. So right. here we are, just outside of Chicago, and we got our first Culvers. Yeah, got our first Culvers, and uh, when when I read about the history of Culvers down there in Florida, sure enough, it is definitely a Midwestern all right, thing. We're crossing the street. So the all right, well wait, there's a car, there's a pickup truck coming. <laughs> So, um, oh, he's waiting for us. Oh, that's nice. That's Thank so you. nice. Midwesterners, they're yeah, nice. They are. All right, so let's go get to a um, uh, BWW. Okay, and sounds good. And a glass of wine for me. Wait, what does that mean? You're not driving anymore? No, it's dark. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. I'll just keep driving. All right, so we just finished charging in Peru, Illinois. We pulled in with a 4% state of charge, left with a 93% state of charge and full bellies because we had dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings. I had six wings, sauce on the side, um, carrots and celery, two of the most healthiest things I've eaten in the last week. And I drenched it in ranch, downed it, and then Kathy got a whole chicken sandwich with uh, some chips. And of course I had a Diet Coke, she had a glass of wine, so she won't be driving anymore tonight. We are going to be staying at the St. Mary's Hotel tonight on the campus of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana, which is, let me tell you how far that is. We are going 141 miles. We'll arrive with a 22% state of charge. And while it's 50 degrees out right now, we're already, um, you know, we should be in, in good shape uh, for getting there with, without any problems. The, the windshield is all, you know, in true out of spec style, <laughs> bugged over, which is interesting for early, I mean, mid-March. Well, I guess it's late March, but the bugs are, the bugs have come out in Illinois and they're smashed all over the, the windscreen. So uh, just as far as a trip summary goes, we're 900, let me just do a quick check here. We are uh, 950 miles into the trip and We've burned 382 watt hours, uh, kilowatt hours of energy. And our average energy consumption is actually down. It's almost under 400, it's 402 uh, watt hours per mile. So, you know, I haven't been carrying super fast speeds, a little bit more traffic in Illinois. We're cutting along Route 80. We're not gonna get super close to Chicago, but it's gonna be, um, we're gonna arrive at 11 o'clock but we got to add an hour, so we'll arrive at midnight to the hotel tonight. It's got a 9.2 out of 10, and it was 99 bucks. Saturday night, I don't know, we watched a little bit of basketball in BWW, and that was good. And then my, my pool at work, I'm in first place. So I have no idea how I did that, because I don't really know that much about college basketball. Um, so, but anyway. We're having a great trip. This Model X is super comfortable. We're actually listening to some Lady A uh, because next week we are going to be going to see Lady A in Stanford, and we've got amazing seats. I can't, I can't wait. So for those of you who like country music, uh, 
maybe you're familiar with Lady A. I'm not super familiar with them, but I'm getting to know their music now, so that's been great. Uh, anyway, next stop will be the hotel, St. Mary's Hotel. I have no idea what to expect, but a 9.2 out of 10, yeah, that's got my vote. 